them out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Don't have any food, but maybe this'll help. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. What's the matter? A monster bothering you? Nay, a ghost. Can you tell me anything more? You see, Jackamar haunts my dreams. Jackamar's my husband, or was till he died at war. He stands by my headboard and wails. So many years apart, I've such woe in the beyond. Come join me. I say, I'll come, Jackamar, but when the gods summon me, not before. Then he says, leave your wedding ring by me grave. It'll make the white and lighter. And I'd leave it, where the wood's not so terrifying. So, I thought to myself, maybe you. Be glad to help. Where's Jackamar buried? A little cemetery near Blackbow. In a grave neath the old tree. Here, take me ring. Once you've laid it down, come to me for your reward. I live in a hut in the middle of the village with my granddaughter, Lessie. Where the hell? Hmm. Strange. Must be Jackamar's grave. That's done. Ye Witcher, what brings ye? Lessie, right? Wanted to talk to your grandma. To my... But she's been dead for years. Guess I talked to a ghost. Why wasn't she buried alongside her husband? I can't say for certain. I was a little lass then. But my mum told me that shortly before Gran died, she learned Grandad had kept lovers on the side. She had no desire to lie beside him. Seems she changed her mind. She wanted something to connect her and her husband in the afterlife. Asked me for help. It's hard to believe. But you've an honest look about you. If you helped Gran, you deserve a reward. Here. Ain't much, but I'm afraid it'll have to do. Then the pops, now the younger. Grim Reaper must be having an arc. It's not Come on. Greetings, Witcher. Hear about the White Lady. As I hoped. I notice it's been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. Miko and his band, who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good for nothing at all. They drained a few pints and decided they'd all plough the white lady. Maybe then she'd bugger off. Romantics. Hmm. Seems the White Lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk are afraid to bury him. So the White Lady haunts your fields? True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folk say she's made her home there. So, will you save us from her? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Using more effective means than brave Miko. 
Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. Expected to see four bodies. Deep, uneven tracks. Someone fled blindly, in a panic. Stairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. All signs point to a new wraith. She's avoiding me. Better find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Greetings, Witcher. Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means God's poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Used a silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it, bury it even. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. Witcher. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. Ah, humans. Ah! Ooh. Greetings, master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp? Perfection in the notice. You ought not jest, Master Witcher. 
I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. All right, so what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Relax, I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Uh. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Can't afford a barber, let alone my wares. Wares are impressive. The stall keepers are bad. Why this range of goods around? Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? Door is wide open. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Doppler. Explains a lot. And complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes. But only one bed. Lavender. Strong scent. Enough to track him down. Me most about no big thing happened to you, we go hungry. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. Use a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. Nice scent. And here I thought temple guards were unkempt boars. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. Ugh. <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Shut up. Please, stop! I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher. I won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. 
Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one, or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more and I'll not do business with you again. Huh? What do you want? Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport that dares take the high road. We need out of bolts, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. Sent a patrol out. Looks never came back. So the job's simple. Bring me the fucker's head, and I'll give you gold. As much as the notice says, I'm not gonna haggle. Quartermaster won't budge. But I can throw in a pass that'll get you across the Pontar. So, deal? Sounds fair. See what I can do. Claude and Nod. Necrophages fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Looted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Look like claw marks, but here, an arrow. Shaft's broken off right at the skin. Footprints. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. One step more and you'll gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Set your weapon aside. You've killed enough humans already. No. No, I have not. At least one more must die. Etme! Time to end this. You're back, finally. Did you get the beast? No beast to speak of in the woods. Just elves from a squared's hellband that attacked the convoys. Here, they're squirrel tails. Scoyatel, you say? Mm. And I thought we'd exterminated the last of those vermin. And the non-humans left it wised up. Well, seems we'll need to pacify them again. Make a list of all the long ears around, and hang every tenth one. That should do it. Yeah, definitely. I see you would have a mind on this. You're a good man. Here, the gold I promised you. And the pass. Good luck.
shape. Me guard boats, we'd say, but no wood for to make a fence. They're boats, aye, so me fence make a boat. Boats guard boats. Why'd you join the army? Someone recruit you? Crude? No crude. Come good soldier man's. Say charging man wants boats. Peasanters, they steals peasanters' boats. Puzzle, tra -la -la -la. Don't know. Think I do. Redanian seized some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take them back. What happened next? Charging man go. Soldier man's drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll! Both! Come, peasanters, swing sharpie sticks! I help want army! Runner to runner! Holler, peasanters! Holler, soldier mans! Gentle! Move them apart! But all lie down, soldier mans too! But order! Had me watch boats! And what I? Trollalol a soldier man now. Trollalol just sing too. You for sing you? No thanks. Heard you earlier. But listen, where are the bodies? Don't see any. Hungry go. Should no waste. Peasant as good food. Soldier man friends. Not so good big stew. Always good. Guess I understand. Wartime rules. Man's soldier man too? Uh, no. Tra -la -la -la. Makes man's soldier man. Trollo. Chargy man. Say, bring paint. And man brings paint. Uh, paint? What are we talking about? Paint! Paint! Red colory? White colory? City gods? No city go. Trollolo. What boats? Fine. I'll try to find some paint for you. Good mans! Retain the army. No service forget. And see the button! It's a clever little goal! No point of any army could do you in the top hole! No point of any... I won't talk to hey. you. What can I do with you for? If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. Let me see. Might pick something. Private Slate, report on order. Just so happens I have some paint on me. Oh! 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 Uh oh. What's the matter? Has paid, but how? Dunno. Hmm, might be a problem. 
Man's hell no! I order! Man's nose! I guess I do. Depends what. Birdo, Connery! Redania, Birdo! Shields like. Guess I can give it a shot. Got a brush? Beautiful. Pretty Birdo. Think so? As long as you're happy with it. Man's good. No like other man's take juice. You're pretty, pretty. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself. I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. 
Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how do you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got this red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novograd's no place for a godling, but if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. <laughs> Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novograd. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. 
A demon had captured Kareen. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Kareen dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. No. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are not. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa, master. You best watch your words. We share a tray, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs. Shut it. You'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? Out of my way. We won't do it. I will. I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witcher some manners. Enough. We've seen your point, Master. Go home. You're done here. 